Hey guys, my name is Bella, and this is my first YouTube video, obviously, and I just wanted to start this channel, I've been wanting to for a long time, to just sit down and play with some makeup and be creative and improve my makeup skills, so that is what we're going to do today. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do yet. So I just washed my face and toned it, so now I'm going to moisturize using this Neutrogena moisturizer. This is really good. I have oily skin for the most part, so a gel moisturizer is perfect for that. We're going to start out by priming the face. I use this no problem prim primer from Sephora. I apply it everywhere but my nose and I know this video is gonna be really bad. I don't have a camera so it's on my iPad so I'm sorry and I leave it off my nose for the most part and because I have an issue with foundation sticking to my nose and like rubbing off my nose and coming off and so I found uh, this NYX glitter glue which sounds really weird but I put this on my nose and honestly I have not had an issue with foundation stain on my nose since, so I don't know. I really can't so just put it. And my next step is gonna be really weird, but I do my brows first. Brush. If I'm looking over here, it's because my mirror's right here. I use Anastasia Dip Brow. I should probably get a new one. I've been using this for like two years. Okay, so here is one brow. We're gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow. So here's the second brow. They obviously look, oh my god, they look so different. So here are both eyebrows complete. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So now what I like to do is clean up the brow with, and this is my first time using this brush. Um, I'm going to use the Morphe 410. This is from the James Charles brush set. Um, I got it for Christmas. I like doing my brows first so I can clean them up like this because then I like if I make a mistake. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, by the way, in the shade Fair Neutral. So I used to do my brows after my foundation, and then, like, the brow products would never stick because I'd have foundation in my eyebrows, and I hated it. This is the M173, and I'm going to buff out, like, kind of blend that concealer in. That is both eyebrows with cleaned up with concealer, and now I'm going to take my 3D Brow Tones also. It's, this is from Benefit. I'm just going to put the brow stuff and then I feel like I am so behind on this one, but I finally got the Fenty Beauty foundation. So I'm in the shade 150. Hopefully it's the right shade. Okay. I feel like this is an okay color. So I don't like to take my foundation all the way up here because I like crease pretty easily. So if I have foundation and then I put a thick concealer on top of it, I just don't like the way it looks. Okay, so that is foundation on. Looks really good. And now we're going to do concealer. So I go on Tarte Shape Tape. And I used to take my concealer up to my eyelids for my eye primer too, but I'm going to be using the James Charles palette today. So I have a MAC paint pot. I also picked up from the store the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber. I only like to cream contour my nose, really. I don't really do my cheeks, but I've been looking for a new contour shade. So I'm going to try this out. Okay. That's usually all I do with my nose. I'll let my concealer set. I like to spray myself with this mash, Smashbox. I crease so quickly that... As soon as I blend out my concealer, I set it. And I'm using the uh, the Fit Me from Maybelline in the shade Fair Light. I like putting powder on with the beauty blender. I feel like it just sinks into the skin better. Now I just go in and set it. Now we're going to do the other side. slightly and then what I'll do is I'll turn it over to like the cleaner side and I'll blend out the contour I really like that I haven't had a cream contour in a long time I'm not gonna powder too much because I've heard this foundation is pretty matte so I'm just gonna do a light but I'm pretty oily anyway so it doesn't matter I'm gonna spray my face too after all the powder 
Then I'll take my bead blender and pat it into the skin. Usually now I'll do my eyes. I don't know what kind of look I want to do. I really want to be more creative and fun with my makeup looks. I was going to do something green maybe, green and blue. I've never done a green, so why don't we just do a green look and see a greenish yellow blue. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to prime my lids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. As you guys can probably tell, I kind of hooded eyes and I don't like have that much eye space. So I feel like I always struggle with eyeshadow like looks and you know when I put I'm really bad at wing liner as well, but no, we're gonna try. I wanna get better at this and this is what this YouTube channel is all about. I really just wanna have fun and explore my creativity. I used to be an artist back in high school and in college I haven't been able to hold on to that, so I really wanna get back into it. I'm going to start off with this shade called Social Blade. It's kind of, so there's like two greens in here. It's the lighter green. So I'm going to go in with the M433 at first. I'm going to start packing it kind of out here in the crease area and kind of on the outer corner. I'm not sure what shape I might go, like kind of cat eye shape. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just going to start by kind of tapping it. into the crease just using padding motions I do the same thing on the other eye okay so it kind of looks a little crazy now I'm going to take kind of the edge of this brush and just lightly blend out the outer edges. I'm going to take one of the smaller, the M456, and I'm going to take the color B, which is the bright yellow in the palette, and I'm going to take that half on the top, half on this, and half on my lid and kind of blend out that green. more of social blade and kind of bring it out at like a wing kind of thing. So now I'm going to take this fluffy brush, it's the M441, and I'm with no product on it, I'm just going to kind of get that better, a better blend going on. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Well, okay, let me show you guys. So you can see it's kind of blended out now. This is what it looks like, so it looks better. So here's what it looks like so far. I did go back and intensify the green a little bit more. I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with another one of the smaller the M, not the M433, I want the small one, the M456. And I'm gonna take the Shade Daddy, which is the darker green in the palette, and I'm going to deepen up in the crease area. I'm just going to start packing it on the outside and kind of blending it into this crease area. I'll also start kind of winging it out. I have to like clean that up probably. What I like to do is I like to take um, powder and then blending it in. I'm going to take the brush that has the social blade on it. I'm not adding any product to it, but I'm just going to buff it out. Yeah, I actually really like the way that looks. Here's what it's kind of looking like now. Deepened it up compared to this. Okay. So this is what we have so far. I don't know what lid shade I want to do. I think I might do a shimmery blue. I think I'm going to go back in um, and kind of work with this shadow a little bit more and blend it out and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the lid. Okay. So I've kind of gone in and blended it out. 
a little bit more. I see I'm going in with, is it acapella? It's kind of this dark, this like dark blue, or there's like this, oh, actually, I think I'm gonna go with like this turquoise blue color. I think also, I think before I do that though, I'm gonna go in with a little bit, I'm gonna transition into that blue a little bit more. Um, so I'm picking up the shade Cola, which is like one of the deepest blue that's in here. I'm gonna like kind of blend that into the the green so it's not like, so it has a better transition. Ooh, I actually really like the way that looks. I'm just gonna take it here. I'm gonna use the paint pot and the same brush that I had earlier. Oh, I didn't mention uh, the M224, which is like the flat concealer blush brush. And we're gonna okay. I think that's the best we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna pick up the other brush that is like it because it came with two, and I'm gonna spray it with um, with a Smashbox. I really, oh, this is such like a pretty aqua color. So that is that with the dark shadow on top, and I really like it. I think it's a, such a pretty color. Okay. I think I might add a touch. There's a lighter blue, and it's called, oh, I forgot, this, was, this shadow is called Cape Cod, by the way. It's like an aqua, it's, it's like an aqua color. It's really pretty. So I think I might take the shade Hello, which is like the lightest shimmery blue, I think I'm gonna pop it kind of in the inner corner and brighten up. I'm gonna take this brown pencil brush. Kind of Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna put eyeliner on. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. It's obviously not the most creative. Here's what the eyes look like right now. I still have some powder underneath. I'm gonna brush it away. I'm first gonna go in with a black liner on my under eye. Are you using the Tarte Double Take? And I'm gonna take my beauty blender that I use my powder for, and I'm gonna like kind of pull down, and I'm just gonna blend my water. I'm just gonna follow the same pattern that I did for my matte shadows on my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna start with the Social Blade color. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with the color B. And then we're gonna go in with the Daddy, which is the darker green, and I'm gonna put it more closer to my lash line. blending brush and I'm gonna just smoke it out. I like to kind of connect it with the upper so it's all smooth. As you can see my eyelashes point like straight down so I have to curl them to get them to look good. I'm actually gonna start off with this um, tinted primer for eyelashes. This is my friend Alexis actually made these, and her brand is called Foreign Face. I'll link her Instagram down below. And these are in the style Geisha Girl. They're so pretty. I love this packaging. Yeah, so I'm gonna let those dry. I'm gonna put. I like the Bad Girl Bang for my Bad Gal Bang from Benefit for my bottom lashes. I really like them for my top lashes when I'm not putting on fake lashes because they make them look really good but when I am I want them to curl more so they'll stay so I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash. Okay. I 
know you're not supposed to do this, but I curl my lashes again because they're so straight. Like any type of thing, they just go straight down. They're so long, but they have no curl to them. And now we're gonna go on and we're gonna finish the rest of our face. So I'm gonna contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is it's a bronzer. I try to get a cool tone, but I do contour with it. And so I'm using the Mor Morphe Y9 for my contouring. I'm just gonna take a powder brush this is what I use for bronzers then I do a bronzer this is the hula bronzer from benefit and I kind of go on top of it I don't always bake sometimes I do so I let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna go back in with some mascara and I'm just gonna wipe it away. Now we are going to do highlight and I'm so excited. I went out yesterday and I got the Fenty PD. So I'm gonna try this out. Oh my god, like it's just so beautiful. Oh, oh my god, it's very glittery but oh I look like wet. Oh, this is so, it's like not a normal highlight. I am going to use this for my inner corner highlight and like my brow bone highlight. I think I'm going to just add some color. I'm going to add a little bit of this highlight on top, just a little bit. And this is the Rocketeur from Benefit. So this is the just look, we gotta do lips. It's the shade Miami from Kylie. I'm gonna exfoliate the usual lip scrub because my lips are so dry. But I'm gonna use the ginger lip liner. Okay. So we are going to spray the face. I'm going to press everything in. And then I also go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Press that in. Okay, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you want to see more like it and subscribe we're just gonna have fun on this channel hopefully i'll be able to get one up every week for you guys and just have some more fun if you guys want to see a look any colors comment so yeah bye